If you're into Bitcoin, ordinals, or just looking to earn some passive income with your Bitcoin, you should check out the Xverse Wallet. With over 1 million users, Xverse Wallet is one of the more trusted wallets when it comes to the Bitcoin and Stacks ecosystem. You get full control over your assets and can easily access Bitcoin ordinals, runes, and stacks. Plus, the smooth, user-friendly interface makes it an easy experience for both beginners and and crypto natives to explore different applications. The wallet is open source and regularly audited and also has built-in support for the Ledger hardware wallet for extra security. You can get it as a mobile app on both iOS and Android or just use the desktop extension. So in today's guide, we'll be going through the desktop extension as it's more optimal for interacting with Bitcoin dApps. Get the wallet extension, which is available for either Chrome, Brave, and Arc. Just head over to exverse.app slash download and choose your preferred browser. Then click download and install the extension. And once that is done, you can set up your Exverse wallet. If this is your first time, select create a new wallet. You can read through the terms of service and privacy policy and even choose whether you want to allow Exverse to anonymously collect your data for app improvement. For better security, we recommend that you back up your wallet now rather than later and of course create a strong password. Next up comes your seed phrase. Now remember this 12 word phrase is the master key to your wallet and also losing it could mean losing your assets forever. So make sure to always, always store your seed phrase in a safe place that no one else can access. Now, if you already have a Bitcoin wallet, then choose restore an existing wallet to import it. The first few steps are similar to setting up a new wallet. You'll need to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy and choose if Xverse can anonymously track your data. Then set up your new password. And now you can select which wallet you're importing. If you're not sure which wallet it is, then choose other. Now it doesn't matter which option you go with because you'll still need to input your 12 or 24 word seed phrase. Once you're in, you'll see your dashboard has has separate tabs for your tokens, NFTs, and Xverse Earn. Now that your wallet is set up, it's ready to receive some funds. So to receive your funds on Xverse, click on receive at the top. You'll see a few wallet address options depending on whether you're receiving Bitcoin, ordinals, or stacks. Copy the address that you need and paste it into your other wallet or share it with others. You can also scan the QR code if you're using a mobile wallet to send your tokens. Now, if you're looking to buy tokens instead, then click the buy button. Choose to buy Bitcoin or stacks through Xverse Swaps, MoonPay, Transact, or PayPal. But Keep in mind that this means that you'll be interacting with a third party service. To send crypto, click on, guess what? Send and choose the type of asset like Bitcoin or stocks. Then fill in the receiving wallet address, the amount that you wanna send and confirm the transaction. Now, one of the cooler features of Xverse is its support for Ordinal, Bitcoin's version of NFTs and other types of unique tokens. So head to the collectibles tab at the bottom of your wallet extension by clicking on the little diamond and you can see and manage your inscriptions, NFTs and rare sats in this tab. To move your assets here, Click receive at the top and choose if you're receiving ordinals or stack NFTs. Copy the wallet address and make sure to double check it in the wallet you're sending from. Now, if you're looking to earn a little yield, then look no further than Xverse Earn. Go to the graph icon at the bottom of your wallet and click start stacking. You'll be redirected to a browser tab where you'll need to connect your wallet. A small window will pop up prompting you to connect your Xverse wallet. And the first way to earn yield is by by stacking STX, the native token of the Stacks blockchain. Now, one cool feature is the rewards calculator that lets you check how much you can earn based on the amount of deposited STX and the number of cycles. The minimum stacking amount is 100 STX with each cycle occurring every 14 to 15 days. Now, rewards are then distributed about two to three days after the cycle ends. Input the amount of STX to delegate and confirm the transaction. 
transaction. Now, when you want to stop stacking, your funds will unlock 100 blocks after the cycle ends. Xverse also makes it possible for you to earn yields by stacking Bitcoin thanks to its integration with BOB, a hybrid layer two network that takes Ethereum's programmability and combines it with Bitcoin's security. You can stake Bitcoin through BOB's liquid staking protocol directly from your wallet, but you'll also need an EVM wallet like MetaMask or Rabi to store the liquid staking tokens you receive when staking Bitcoin. You can then use these tokens for lending, borrowing, or yield farming. So to start staking, go to stake BTC, BOB in the left panel of the same Xverse Earn browser. Then connect your EVM wallet by clicking connect EVM wallet at the top of the page. Select your wallet of choice and follow the wallet's prompt to add the BOB network. Now there's a number of strategies with different partners that you can choose from and each has their own total value locked or TVL to consider. Also, it's worth noting that each partner might have different conditions like restricted regions or withdrawal limitations. So make sure that you do a bit of research on these before staking your Bitcoin. Now, once you've got your staking strategy, input the amount of Bitcoin that you want to stake and choose your preferred network fee. Now make sure everything is right and confirm the transaction. And that's it. No technical know-how required and also no endless bridging. Don't forget that Xverse also acts as your passport to the world of Web3 like Gamma for Ordinals or Magic Eden for Bitcoin NFTs. So take some time to explore what you can do. And also as a quick reminder, never share your seed phrase and always double check links before connecting to any sites. If this video helped you out, give it a like. Let us know about your experience in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more crypto tutorial videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next one.